Hello, I'm Jordan Payne and welcome back to Trigon Space Story where of course we are back at the space station and we're kind of licking our wounds really to be honest. We got a little bit battered at the end of the last episode and we also lost our engineer which is possibly the biggest devastation uh, that we could have. Um, I'm a little bit worried about that one to be honest. Uh, I don't have much confidence in this run but I think what we'll do, if we come out here, I think we're just going to go straight for this uh, one up link in a trillion views. I think we'll go for that next because the bounty is up to seven and I think we need to start thinking about getting out of here and I'd like to do that and then it will point us either to where the next piece of the puzzle is in this solar system or in this part of the galaxy or it might jump us out to here which I'm guessing is where it is because we've got two uh, side quests out there which would be really kind of nice to try and pick up. Um, because we could uh, we could potentially get some good rewards out of that. Uh, this down here was a bit of a disaster. We didn't really pick a lot up from there. I was kind of hoping to get some weapons or scrap or money or something. But the fact we lost our engineer was a bit of a devastating blow. So uh, you need healing first. Let's get everybody healed up. We're in the safety of ports. Let's get Daniel healed up as well. Everyone else looks like they're pretty good. So we'll kind of hang on to that. Let those guys get all healed up. That's all good. Daniel's all healed, so we will put him back in there. And then we'll get Ronnie. And what I'm thinking, actually, is because you have maneuvering, you have maneuvering, you have acceleration, you have an acceleration. If we put Ronnie in the cockpit here, and then we fire that... I'm assume, I think this is just one use per encounter. Um, if we fire that off, we could then swap and put Ronnie in the driver's seat rather than hands. That could be a really good thing. Uh, to do um, that you know and then we get two bites of that 50% evasion plus is that 50% on what our evasion is or is that 50% on top of our ev evasion we'll find out uh, because that's 20 that's 50 actually if we fired those two off together if it is you know 50 and 20% uh, that'll take us to 100% evasion we could dodge for 10 seconds potentially I'm not sure whether it's a doubling of, you know, 50% of this score, whether it's 50% additionally. Um, I'm not too sure on that one. Uh, but anyway, let's go to the space station and we will see. I think first things first, we've got to repair the ship. That's just a no-brainer. That is going to cost me 300 money, so that's not good. Um, the next thing to do is go to the trade and we're going to buy up. I want to buy up these rockets, I think. Or we could go for the clusters. I'm thinking of loading uh, different weaponry. Uh, we've got the speed rockets at the moment. Um, these do like 10, 10 and 10 damage. Uh, that one does loads, but it took ages to fire last time, didn't it? But I don't know. We, I think we want to fire like this or those at them and use the best weapons we can. Uh, oh, look, there's a Mark II drone, but yeah, we can't afford that anyway. Ooh. Prometheus rocket launcher. Hello. Oh, that takes a lot, but that's pretty good. But I don't really have the rockets or anything to do anything with that. Hmm. Okay, the question is because we do have. Let's just. Uh, we might as well go to the bar, but uh, yeah, weapons operator would be great and an engineer, but yeah, we don't really have anybody for that. So the question is. Do we add a fourth weapon? Because what I was planning on doing is taking the life support down one um, and adding it to the shields. But we could add it to the weapons and put that other rocket launcher in its place. Have this one loaded with, say, cluster rockets and the other one loaded with, like, those Mastiff rockets or speed rockets or something. Ooh, that's a... Hmm. Hmm. I mean, we could just drop the O2 right down to 1, couldn't we, and do that. Uh, we could even shut that off and put that in there or something. I wasn't think I wasn't planning on that, but let's buy up all of these rockets. So that... Oh, hang on, no. Or the EMP ones would actually be really good as well, wouldn't they? Hmm. I think we'll buy these up because uh, they're going to do 15 damage as opposed to the 10 damage of the Speedfire rocket. So I think that's the way to go. Uh, let's buy that so that's going to cost me 400 and i've got 500 left or is that no sorry that was taking it off wasn't it already i was going to say i thought i had more money than that uh, never mind and then the question is do we load it with like cluster rockets or something 
or maybe the EMP rockets. We could load it with that, couldn't we? Uh, we could buy up the speed fires. Let's buy all of those. I think that's just a good base rocket to have. Um, and then we'll put those back like that. So we spent 488. What about if we bought five of those as well? <clears throat> hmm. See, I'm kind of thinking of loading this with like the EMP rockets or this Mastiff rockets. And we'll load this one with the um we'll load this with the emp rockets that we could fire at the uh, bridge or something or the weapons and try and knock the weapons out i think probably the bridge try and knock their maneuverability down um and then we could fire it once we've used up those we could then reload with like the speed rockets or something or some cluster rockets or something that's a good question. I'm going to be here umming and ahhing about the first 10 minutes of this video. It's just going to be this, I think. Um, unfortunately, uh, like one of those laser cutters, but I'm going to go. I'm going to go with it. I think. Yeah, let's go with that. I think. Let's do it. Let's try this out. Uh, I think we need some more offensive capability. So if we drop that down, we put that in there. We load that with those mastiffs, and we load that with the EMPs. So we should be all good there. Well, they, yeah, they're going to require some time to load. So I'm going to hang around here. And then if we knock down the med bay and put some energy on the shields. So the med bay is going to be out of action, unfortunately. So we're not really going to be able to heal anybody on the fly. But I think that's a good idea. Everything's now loaded. We've only got four rocket EMP rockets. We'll then put like uh, the Speedfire rockets onto that or something. Um, and we've got this one to kind of hit. I think that's not a bad idea. Hmm. Uh, what's our consumption? So we're going to consume five food. And, I mean, what about if we drop it down another one? And we get, I kind of want that med bay up and running just, just in case. Uh, if we drop it down again, yes, yeah, so we're going to consume seven. But we could put the power back on just to travel there. Yeah, I think we'll leave that like that. Because I can't do any upgrades or anything like that I haven't got any scrap or anything like that and the money I'm assuming money wise for the upgrades for the ship are going to be too expensive yeah they are it's kind of what I figured but you know we thought we might as well just have a look uh, the O2's all good we could do like airlocks or something like that uh, stations on the map oh that's pretty good ooh that's good I wouldn't mind the autopilot system, though. That could help us out. Um, just so, uh, you know, upgrade will add an autopilot system which will allow the system to evade threats without a pilot. That would be really handy. I think we might go with that. The extra strength doors would also be good if we got some borders. Uh, just to, uh, you know, they have to break through the doors. So if they teleported into a part of the rock where the ship where we could open the doors and suffocate them a bit, that could be really good. I'm going to go with this, I think gonna add an extra one to that let's do it i'm gonna try and tank it up we may as well do this because i feel like this is do or die make at the moment here um, we're either gonna do this and continue or we're gonna get blown up in this next encounter so i feel like uh, really going for it is the way to go so just make sure we're all set so you're there i think i want you on that do we want you on the we weapons or do you want you to come over here hmm. i think we do want you on the weapons and then we've got to keep an eye on these as well. We can knock those off as well. Those are going to be good as well. Get some more energy. Get some more shields back. Okay, right. Let's do this. Oh, here we go. Oh, God. This is... Fingers crossed, people. Yeah, we're at this space station. And then we're going to have this really rough fight. Here we go. Okay. So, yeah, the uplink's guarded. Key Sanjo or Ricky to settle the matter. Ooh. Ooh. Hang on. Hello. Did, we didn't have this person last time, did we? Let's do that. Uh, your crew member thanks you for the opportunity to talk to their idol and explains that the battle can't be avoided and he is in his favour de of defeating Rehu. Uh, get oh, right, okay. That did nothing then. Fair dues. Uh. Okay, so... Right, I thought, we, I thought that might have bypassed that, but no, it hasn't. Okay, alright, well... 
It is what it is then. Um, so he's going to blast us with everything that he's got right now. I'm kind of wondering whether we hit one of these maneuvering things straight off the bat. So we're a little bit more dodgy. So we might be able to dodge his first incoming salvo. Um, I think the first thing to do is we are just going to hammer the crap out of this thing and take down the pilots so he can't maneuver. I think that's the first thing to take down. The shields, the lasers aren't going to do great at the shields, but I'm hoping the two rockets are going to hit, or at least one of them, preferably the EMP, I guess. Um, and I think I'm going to hit that, and we'll get 10 seconds of dodge. Let's hit it. So we might just dodge his first attack. It's not really, but he's doing the same to us, but or he's doing something. Okay, right. So let's get this, pour that into there. And then I think that missed. I wouldn't mind trying to disable the rock, the uh, weapons actually. So we are still all right. We've uh, we've lost that now. Right, boost the shields. Uh, who's the person that boost boosts up the shields? Boost that now. That'll give us a massive boost to the shields. No, the shields are getting hammered. No. Man, okay, all right. Just keep, I'm gonna tell you, just keep firing at that. Yeah. Actually, do you know what? Let's not, let's hit that, see if we can knock down the shields uh, with those EMPs. I'm gonna get you to go there and try and repair that. Oh, it's on a 53 second cooldown, but if we swap him out. Yeah, that, so we're using that and the shields are gone. Son of a biscuit. Oh, he's on it. Okay, that doesn't... Oh, no. Oh, he can hit it. Okay. So, let's hit that. Yeah, that goes to 95%, so we should be able to dodge for a bit. That's pretty good. Okay. Um, yeah, you're still just hammering that. I want you to try and hit that if we can. Wow, those EMPs take a long time to repair. We need those shields online because I'm using that score and we're not we're not getting any ability from it. Oh, we're down. Yeah. Oh, man, that is rough. How the hell are you supposed to do that? Damn. Yeah, okay, well, I guess we'll go run run number three and then maybe we'll kind of call it then, I guess. Um, yeah, I didn't think we were going to do that. Uh, those EMPs uh, to fire too slow, I think. Um, good, but too slow. I think just speed fire rockets lobbed at them would have been a better choice. Probably targeting the shields as well, because the lasers can't do any damage until they hit those shields out of the way. So I think doing that first. The problem is they dodge, but I think taking the shields down, I think that's the way to go. I'm going to stick with that tactic. Um, obviously, taking the maneuverability down would be really good, but if two of your weapons can't do any damage... I think you're better off taking those shields down first, in my opinion. And then take that down, yeah. Damn, that is rough. Uh, well, there's like a free play. Let's have a look at that, shall we? Oh, okay, I've restarted again. Never mind. Uh, after shaking on it, yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah, so you get the same crew again. Oh, man, that that's... Uh, yeah. Well, that's, that's the roguelike for you, you know. Uh, let me know if you want to continue this because uh, this is probably going to be the way it's going to go for quite some time to come. I think what I should have done was attacked that thing straight at the start of the first episode, the episode back. I think we might have had a shot, but I don't know. That thing wrecks you big time. I, I don't know the tactic to take it down. Um, I say I'm recording these a little bit ahead of time as well, unfortunately, but... Uh, I just I want to be able to stream, so I've just kind of got to do that, unfortunately. Um, oh boy. Okay. All right. Well, let's let's crack on then. Uh, let's just make our way straight to this first one, and maybe we don't want to hang around here for too long. We'll see on that one. Let's go there. Uh, they're going to organize another pirate raid on the station. Uh, the only only this time the Venators are their target. I think it will just help them make an assault. I think. If we help protect the station, though, we will lose a bit of um, uh, bounty level, won't we? Nah, I'm going to go with the assault. Decide to get even. There we go. Let's go for it. Right, I'm just going to stick with my... I'm going to hammer the shields. 
tactic because I think that's just a better tactic. Uh, obviously, they are really dodged, but you know, there we go. We hit those guys. Oh, are you not firing at that? Okay, fair enough. Backup power. Oh, I think that's what they're doing, right? Okay, let's hammer this again. We can. Ow. Is anyone in the shields thing? No. Okay. Go over there and repair the shields. Oh, man. This is not good. I'm thinking we may just want to restart with a different crew because this crew is cursed. No oxygen. Oh, wow. We just put a hole in that thing. Yeah, do you know what? I'm restarting. This this crew is cursed. I'm, I'm restarting. Let's let's get a new crew on the go. Yeah, let's get a new crew. That one's cursed. I'm going to get rid of them. <laughs> yeah, let's get a new lot in. Yeah, let's go with that instead. Those guys are cursed. <laughs> I'm going to say let's do that. I'm not feeling that run. Let's do it again. Okay, there we go. Something's up. So, let's go there. Yeah, I think that was a good call. Let's change them up. Uh, so, uh, you enter a system full of other ships. As you look around, you quickly realise this is a casino station. Fun games, whatever your heart desires, but it's not free, of course. Get drunk with the Venators. Uh, fly away before you waste all your money. Spend 300 credits and have fun. I can't remember. We got drunk with the Venators. Wasn't that good or not? I can't remember what that was now. Um, fly away before you waste all your money. I mean, that's probably the better one, isn't it? I don't really want to spend money and have fun. I'm going to fly away. Screw it. You decide to fly away. Uh, you realise you could end up stuck here for days. You decide to wait for the hyperdrive to charge and then leave. Okay, yeah. Let's just go. I don't want to spend any money. Let's get over here and we'll get this going already. Oh boy, we're in like an asteroid belt. Fair enough. Uh, we're going to find... Let's send the engineer over. Because I think that's just the way to go. We found some scrap and some food. Uh, we've found lucky ticket as well. Let's get to the pirate den next. So that's back in this direction. So we will go there. Oh, look, the gate's there now. Interesting. Uh, we'll go back there. What was that? It was like a pulsar? No, black hole. Fair enough. Okay, there we are. Let's jump to the next zone. Oh boy, yeah, that's not good, is it? Uh, you enter the system and you receive an SOS signal. Let's check the source of the signal. You determine the coordinates of the signal, source of the charge, and charge the hyperdrive. Oh, okay, are they not here? Oh, right, there they are. Um, well, let's go to here first, because we should be able to get lucky ticket online um, and get another crew member going. I think that's the first thing to do. The ship's still probably damaged, isn't it? Oh, no, it's all okay. Pirate station, yep, yeah, we know what this one is. So we walked around... Have we done everything? No. I can't remember what we did. Do we just we took a walk around, we talked to the smugglers. Let's head and play a game of poker. Uh hey Admiral, uh, they say the Venators are looking for you in all systems. Did you uh, miss deadline or for some forms? Uh now public enemy, you wouldn't be the first to fall victim of red tape. Come tell me all about it, explain the situation, punch him in the face. Tell the former friend, the acquaintance, uh, what is a deep shit uh, you were in. Okay. Oh, we, wow, we just made some money. Damn. That's pretty good. And then we'll get Lucky Ticket online. Get the engineer to check the price. And then Lucky Ticket bounces back. We've got to take Popo out next. That's great. So the engineer, she's good. So I'm going to go with the body armor. Although she is going to be running around, isn't she? I like the idea that she's tanky, but she might be good just for some sprinting. Because uh, she's going to be running around repairing systems and stuff. And so her moving... No, I think more damage. I like the damage reduction one. Uh, so what have we got with you? You're a shield operator. Perfect. That's brilliant. Although you have no health, but still. We have to keep an eye on that. But that's brilliant. Do you not buff the shield in any way, shape, or form? Hmm. Alright. Do you not buff those shields in any way, shape, or form? Okay, I'm sure you added like more shields to it, but okay. Fair dues. Well, let's go to this. So, Pope. Oh, Popo's in this system. Oh, that's kind of cool. We'll go to a new system. Um, let's do a bit of exploring. Why not? I think let's do some of that. Yeah, I'm feeling a little better about this one. Although, ooh, food is actually really bad, isn't it? 
Enemy ship heading your way. Prepare for action. Okay, right. They got a teleporter. I'm just going to do my hit the shields as much as I can. There we are. That smashed the shields. And then I'm just going to save the rockets. And I'm going to fire uh, my laser at it. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Feeling better about this crew. Let's get rid of that other crew. We've had a couple of goes. Destroy the enemy ship. You'll destroy everyone. Yeah, it gets in your way. There we are. So some food. Oh, we really need some food. Uh, these guys have leveled up. So Hulk and Lucky. Extra health or avoids with a probability of 50%. Hmm. I'm just going to go with more health, I think. Sprinter. Well, you're not really going to move. Your logic is going to sit on the pilot seat. So I think you taking the ability to maybe take less damage is probably a good idea. Uh, that uh, system sensor um, that reveals the uh, the space station location is actually really good. Because um, it's like at the moment, I need some resupplies. I got like my food is flying down fast. Um, I need some food. Uh, as soon as you enter the system, uh, they want to... Okay, all right. Another fight. Okay, here we go. Yeah, they don't have much dodge anyway as well. So let's hit those guys. There we are. And then the shields are down. I'm going to just use the laser and try and save the rockets. Come on. Go there. And we'll just constantly fire at that thing. Uh, we might just... Let's give them one more... Uh, Let's give them one more. There we go. There we are. That's it. I'm not going to use any more now. That should. Oh, come on. There we go. They're down. Okay, he's repairing. That's good. Yep, we're all good there. Gather our resources. We've still got no food, though. Damn it. Come on, man. I need food. Um, I guess we could upgrade this. Put an upgrade on that and we'll upgrade the drive as well and then we could just put that power in there and that would help us a little bit uh yeah that's good that just came at the right time because the day just passed um well i kind of want to go there but <sighs> we could then jump back to there but i need to find this space station i don't know where it is um, that's what I need to find is the space station and it's not there but at the same time I want to do that job <sighs> let's risk it let's go there we're only using two food now so we've got five jumps worth of food uh, you receive a distress call from a small mining colony the miners are trapped uh, after a cave in and can't get out the venators aren't responding and the locals simply don't know what to do you have to help them Draw through the rubble to from the air. Uh, try not to hurt the miners. Raid the colony. Fly past. Ooh. Well, the honourable things to do. I should, maybe should be an asshole in this one. Be an asshole. Hmm. I I guess if we help them, that might reduce our um, bounty. If we raid it, it's definitely going to do it, isn't it? Kind of want to be a dick. Maybe we'll be a dick next time. Uh, like an experienced surgeon, you carefully slice through the rubble with your uh, ship's weapons. Uh, the miners return to the colony and are tremendously appreciative. Oh, that's good. Oh, they repaired the ship. Although, yeah, the ship wasn't really that damaged anyway. But still, they repaired it. That's brilliant. And we got a bunch of food and some more credits. Excellent. Excellent. That's brilliant. That's my little Mr. Burns there. Uh, what is that? Solar Storm. I don't like that. That was like... That was like loads of fires or something, wasn't it? I think. I don't like that at all, but there we go. There we are. Uh, as you approach the planet, you receive a message from a research station. Uh, they ask you to do some transport. Let's do some transport. The elves were aggressive, but they appeared... Uh, yeah, okay. At least you got paid. Oh, yeah, they damaged the hull, but we got some more money. Right, let's jump out here before the fires are set or anything. I really need to, I really need to find that space station, though. I want to go there, but I think there might be the better solution. Let's go there next. I want to find the space station. <laughs> really want to find that. Uh, you received uh, multiple signals. Ah, this is the rescue them. Okay. 
try we could try this we rescued the youngs last time didn't we, we could try and save everybody this time hmm. yeah let's try and save everybody in an attempt to save everyone you took too many ricky on board uh, causing them to go crazy and give uh, give in to their instincts there's no way to save the planet now you'll have to deal with the madness and go oh oh man loads of people have gone nuts we've got like invaders or something okay all right damn yeah try and save the young that's definitely the way to go fair enough uh, i'm gonna hammer the shield again i think that's the i think that's the tactic i'm sticking with or is everyone pissed off i like my people pissed off as well i don't know oh they're dodging oh god they have just oh hang on he's in there hang on whoa 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 all right, you go there. Oh man, I'm gonna have to take everyone off the freaking thing to kill this bloody thing. Son of a biscuit, okay, all right. Yeah, he's fighting. We're gonna have to keep an eye on that because Hans is gonna die. Son of a, get out of there, Hans. And then Lucky Ticket's not gonna last more than five seconds either, so. Oh man, I, I'd like to jump. I'd like to jump out of here. Yeah, we've got to get Lucky Ticket out of there because he's not much of a fighter. We're going to have to take some power off that to put on that. And now our shields are completely gone. Oh, this was terrible. Okay, right. Well, at least we know not to do that one next time. Okay, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put you in there. That should boost that up. We'll get you to go there and try and get the shields back online and then I'm going to shut the doors and send you out I think that's what we're going to do in a minute uh, right we're paused I really need that to go down this is not good man right let's jump out of here we've got to get out of there space station perfect let's get out of there this guy's still fighting though I don't know whether the person in there is going to kill the person if that fight's still going on or what but yeah that was a rough one holy moly Hang on, right. Yeah, yeah, I don't care about you. I need to pause, man. My person's going to die. Right, get out of there. Go through there. And then we're going to lock all these doors. And we're going to open that. And you are going to be stuck in here. And get gassed out. There you go. There you are. That's how we deal with you. Yeah, there you go. Screw you, buddy. So you can't break through the doors. Or you may just be to uh, intent on destroying those things I have no idea but either way let's get everybody out damn that was rough damn that was a rough one. Oh, we started out so well yeah this game is just so brutal man it's <laughs> so brutal oh man okay what was that and then we'll get hands back to there and he can start repairing that in a minute let's just get everybody healed up first oh boy let's go station and we're definitely going to want to repair the ship uh, well we're going to want supplies that much I can tell you we're going to want speedfire rockets I think Ooh, Ragnarok rockets oh man I think a couple of those in our pocket might be a good idea but I think to start with oh the bomb teleporter as well that's pretty cheap sorry I'm getting distracted by all the shiny new weapons yeah, all the lasers require like two. Okay, well I think first off we've got to upgrade the ship. I think that's just a we've got to repair the ship, sorry. I think that's just a you know, that's a given. And then we're gonna buy that and get some more power. And then I want some more shields, I think. There we go. It's a good start. Oh, did he not? Oh yeah, alright, he just seemed to die again. I was gonna say, did he not die or something? All right, we just wait for these guys to heal. And then we're going to repair up. That was a tough fight. That was a really, really tough fight. That was crazy. But hey, that's FTL for you. That's these roguelikes. It's the way it goes. Uh, it's just it's their brutal gameplay nature. It's just the way it, nature of the beast, unfortunately. Uh, there you go. Yeah, you're not given a boost. You are a shield operator. Yeah, am I... 
yeah, I could have sworn you gave a... I was like, I'd like some context to these uh, things as well. It's like, if I go to management crew, it's like, I'd like to know, hover over that uh, shield master and nano machines. So what is that? I don't know. <laughs> uh, it might tell me in the skills, actually. There is like an encyclopedia. Uh, we might want to look in there. Because um, you surely should be giving me a shield buff, but you don't seem to be doing that this time around. It's like, if I take you out of there, it's like, let's put you in there and see what you do. It's like, at the moment, you're not... Uh, whereas normally, it added, like, a lot more shields to the mix. It's perhaps a bit OP, but, you know, it, it uh, you know, doubled the shields, whereas I'm not getting that from you. Mm. Was that a skill? I don't know. Uh, so station, we're going to want to come back to the trade and we're now going to want to buy up all of those speed fire rockets. Oh, Europa cluster rockets. I kind of want to buy one of those. Um, the uh, mine launch wouldn't be too bad either. Thermal bomb, fire chance, that'd be pretty good actually. That would be pretty good. Uh, we've only got 14 foods. So I think that's the first thing to do. Uh, no, let's drop that. Buy up some food. There we go. Let's buy that 15 food. That's fine. Bought those rockets. Uh, let's have a look. We can't afford anyone, but let's just have a look. Medic, engineer, pilot, warrior, engineer. Okay. I'd prefer a weapon operator, but you know. Or a shield operator, because Lucky Ticket doesn't seem to be doing his thing. I kind of want that, but I think the money needs to go towards repairing or upgrading the ship. But we don't really have that ability. Um, as I say, strength and doors is nice. Uh, this being able to put the stations on the map, though, is really sweet. I do like the sound of that. Um, I think we're just going to hold off and we'll fly around the map, I think, for a bit. Um, so let's do some of these in this corner here. And we'll go up to there. So there's a black hole, I think, up there. Uh, where can we go? Just trying to find the best. Let's jump to there first. Why not? Let's go that one. I wonder if the gatekeeper's different as well. We've not defeated this one yet. I don't suppose so. Uh, a strange box is discovered in your cargo hold bearing a mysterious open me label. You have definitely uh, never seen it before. Should you throw it in a mysterious box away? I mean, I kind of want to open it because Curiosity killed the cat. But I think Curiosity's going to kill the cat if you open it. So I'm going to throw it away into space. I don't think that's a good idea at all. There could be something amazing in there, but it's just suddenly a mysterious box suddenly turns up. Yeah, I'm throwing it away. You seal the box as firmly as possible and eject it into space. Why open unknown boxes on your own ship? You're much smarter than those who sent it to you. Uh, it might be full of money or something, but it's like, that just sounds like a trap, doesn't it? Uh, we've not got a lot of fuel either, have we? So, uh, Well, let's jump to there next. Yeah, the shields aren't buffing up. I'm not sure what's going on there. But there you go. Uh, another ship uh, wants to get a good haul of your cargo. I want to give you back. Okay, they're going to fight me. Fair enough. Oh, it's one of these. Interesting. I can't see. Oh, yeah, we're in a nebula, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. They got a lot of shields. So we're just going to hammer the shields again. I don't know what their stats of the rest of their stuff is, but there we go. Uh, let's go there and let's go there. Try and knock those shields down as best as we can. There we are. Perfect. And then we're going to hit another one again with that. Yeah, I really wish my uh, shields were being buffed up a little bit more, but they don't seem to be. We've got the shields on the go. Oh, we missed that. Yeah, I don't know what their maneuverability is. Bridge 2. Oh, okay. 6. Yeah, they are like so dodgy. It's like, I'm wondering whether the tactic is to just go with all rockets. Obviously, I don't know whether that would work, because you'd have to, you know, rockets and mines or something. Because uh, in this game, everyone seems like they've got really good, like, maneuverability more than anything else. Um, whereas, like, FTL, you don't encounter that until much later on. And it's like, my laser's good, but it can't do any damage against the ship. Oh, there we are. That's good, though. I'll take that. They're not doing much damage anyway, so... Oh, they... Damn it! Oh. Did the... Did the crew die? You destroy the ship and get... Hmm. I thought they jumped out of there. Did the crew die? 
I don't know, I'll take that though. Technician uh, protects 100% of the system levels from uh, EMP in the occupied modules, adds two levels to the occupied system. Hmm. So that means she should unlock two uh, weapon modules, but she needs to be occupied on a system or just protects it. But again, she needs to be an occupied module. Hmm. Does that mean if she just stands there? I like the plus two. Let's go with that and see what that does. So yeah, that's given us an extra two. So if we just took two off those shields. Oh, that doesn't give me... All right. Okay, I don't know what that does. So if she comes in there, does she do the same there? Yeah. So we, do we need more power? So I guess if we've got some more power, then we might be okay. Right, anyway, let's go back there. Well, I guess we've got no weapons to occupy that. If we actually had weapons and spare power, then we could power the weapons up. But obviously we don't have that. So yeah, I think that's not bad. So uh, if she stands in the shield room, we could get loads of shields. Yeah, I'm not sure why my shields are not buffing up. It's like with the other runs, the, this shield operator got on the shields and we went from like 30 to 60. That's not happening anymore. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if I've got a bug or something. Um, that kind of sucks. Um, because that was a nice buff. That's pretty much all of this system cleared out. I think we'll go over to this side. Try and clear these out before the end of the episode. But I don't know how well we're going to do that. Uh, it just depends what's there. Let's do what we can. Uh, your sensors are picking up a strange signal. It's too difficult to decipher its structure. Uh, but you trace its orange and mysterious signal in the Atari sector. Uh, it could be a trap. Fly to the source of the signal. Record the signal to analyze it. I think we'll do that. As you record the signal, you feel strange. Oh, it was this one. Uh, you'll be able to get some credits for it in the nearest station. Yeah, there we go. I we did this one. That's alright. We got some cash for it, though. I'll take that. Uh, let's jump to this one next. And we can always jump back to the station if we need it. But I'm just keeping an eye on my supplies, which are really going down. But... Uh, during a flight you encounter a distinguished looking ship its uh, hull is seemingly made of crystal and minerals the captain hails you and introduces himself as Star Order Crusader he asks you what's the uh, in, what's the most important thing uh, a crusader needs to do honor or weapons I mean I'm going to say honor but I'm thinking you may think weapons I'm going to go honor uh, once you lose it, uh, you can never get it back, says the Crusader, and eject something uh, from his ship. Uh, you find out what it was. It turns out to be a load of scrap for your ship. Oh, nice. So it disappears. Oh, nice. That's a, that's a nice haul of scrap. I'll take that. Yeah, we have one rough fight, but we've had a couple of uh, nice encounters. Let's go there. I think that was a black hole, wasn't it? Yeah, definitely a black hole. Look at that. Uh... As you enter the system, you receive an SOS. Let's provide help. Uh, determine the coordinates of the signal source and charge the site. Hyperdrive. Oh, okay. So we've got another SOS signal. All right. That's not bad. Uh, we should... Hang on. What's our supply situation like? Yeah, we should be able to do one more jump. If we drop... Well, we could drop one of those off. Uh, no, let's drop that out and we'll put that in there. And that'll save us a bit of food then. Let's go there, and then we'll go back to the space station, and we'll kind of end it there, I think. And so, yeah, we're just doing another run again. Uh, as the right ship is a huge Titanic on waste disposal. Oh, it's this one. Let's fire the rockets. That seemed to work all right last time. Decided to play rough. We got a bunch of scrap and credits. That's pretty damn good, and you've leveled up as well. Excellent. So we've got the hyperdrive expert, and add one point of energy to the hyperdrive. Hmm... I do really like that though. Uh, when entering the combat system, we can jump out with a fully charged hyperdrive. That is really nice, but I'm kind of thinking I might go different and go with that one. Extra energy. Yeah, let's go extra energy. I'm going to go different this time. Let's do it differently. Um, so we have a spare slot of energy, which is great because he's now providing one energy. Brilliant. Um, we could just go there and do that, couldn't we? Yeah, let's go and do that. We've got the fuel, we've got the supplies just. We might get something out of it. We've already been here, though. The human ship got stuck in the system. Their captain hails you and requests your assistance. 
Uh, help, please get me out of here. Our ship's AI has gone mad and uh, locked me in here. My shipmates are already dead, I'm begging you. Help, uh, send the Troitaki in to deal with the problem. I guess that's the one to go for. Storm the ship and risk the crew. Yeah, let's go with that one. Who can understand artificial te te intelligence better than anyone else? Uh, yeah, so let's do that. His name is Paul and he tries to... <laughs> Tries to talk to you, release the captive, decided uh, to travel off in search of an adventure. Human is ours now. Do not try to eat him. Show not to tempt fate and fly by instead. Oh, we got a new guy. Okay, well that's pretty cool. That's good. What are you? Oh, another engineer. I mean, that's not bad. Two engineers, I'll take that. That's okay. Um, so really, I guess we'll put you like here for the moment. Uh, that's going to get our consumption up, though, because he's going to do two. Humans seem to do two. This robot guy obviously does none. And then those other, like, Ataris do one. And then the big kind of um, bug-looking creature that we had last time, he did three. So, okay, that's fine. Right, and then we'll jump back to the space station, and I think we'll call it there. Um, yeah, not bad at the moment. We have no supplies. Uh, we've got a ton of scrap, though, so... Uh, let's pause it so we can really upgrade this ship a little bit more. We get another energy slot, although we have one spare energy anyway. So I think maybe some more hyperdrive for some more evasion or some more shields for some more protection. But I'm thinking more evasion or the pilot station for that autopilot would be quite nice. And then the next stage, obviously, is the uh, is we get another 10% evasion when we go again for that which I think actually is probably better than this isn't it because it gives you 17 it gives you 20 so you only get three from that but obviously you've got to spend a hundred to get there but you get 10 whereas if you spend what's that 140 you go from 14 percent evasion up to 20 percent evasion so you only get six percent if I'm reading that correctly if you're kind of with me so I think actually upgrading that is probably better getting that pilot station up and running and then we'll start upgrading that I think I think that's what I'm leaning towards doing uh, we didn't really pick anything up either did we yeah we didn't pick any equipment up unfortunately so we're gonna have to buy it all and I think the first this first sector we need to be uh, upgrading the ship as much as possible yeah we've kind of cleared out this apart from this over here I guess we could jump and do these last two before going for the gatekeeper I guess we could do that. Uh, but anyway, as I say, I think for now, though, I think this is where we're going to call it, and we're going to end the third run here, and hopefully we can take out the gatekeeper in the next one, get over and deal with Popo, and then I guess it might be an idea to jump back and just grind this sector out once you've done that, because you could just jump between the two sectors, maybe? Hmm. I'm not sure on that one, because obviously... Yeah, like this is the easy zone, and that's the normal zone or something, so maybe it's better just to come back and grind this sector. I don't really don't know. Uh, but anyway, I'll say for now, this is where I'm going to call it anyway in the episode. So if you like that one, please give me a thumbs up. Comment your thoughts down below. Subscribe for more. I really do appreciate it. Stay safe out there, everyone. And I'll catch you next time.